what is up guys and welcome back to the racing club career mode this is tim here this is episode two where today we're going to get straight for the transfers where i had i need to go search for him first eric lamella was one of the transfers y'all asked for there he is i'm gonna scout him short list we'll probably buy him more pre-contract in January so hopefully we can get him another Argentinian coming into the club should be great first game we will be playing today will be against San Lorenzo this is uh, one of the big teams in Argentina so hopefully we can get the win over them let's see how this rolls and we are at home Really no change to the team if we had a week off. And then I think we have two weeks off after this game, so no need to change the team right now. Yep, first home game of the season. Hopefully we can give the home fans a, a win here. I like the ball that they play with in Argentina League. I like the presentation and everything. I like it. Big shoe in the middle of the stadium. <laughs> Just noticed that. Martinez is going to have a crack his way over the bar. Ah, oh, that's a foul. my normal tactic. This is a little short pass to... Oh. Ooh. And it should be a corner. No! Off the post. Ooh. Close on that one. Made two changes at halftime. Uh, Lopez and Zala, I can't say his name, came off for Martinez. And then another young striker who has more pace than Mark. That's offsides. Who had more pace than Lopez. Draw might switch to formation. A little bit later in the game. Try to get something to happen. Centurion might have a chance. Martinez. Martinez scores. Second goal of the season for Ladero Martinez. Centurion and Martinez have been deadly. If they link up in that box area, one of them will score. There it is, the second goal. The substitute comes on and scores the second goal of the game. And that would be his first goal of the season. And we're starting to we're starting to find a little bit of better form. We're starting to start filling out their team. And the center back ran way too far. Came way too far out. I have no clue why he did, but he did. Switch to a more defensive formation. Looking good this move. There it is. Centurion gets in the game too. A third goal, and that will be the game. I hope. I hope they do not come back with 15 minutes left. That would completely suck. I think we've probably the best game we played so far in this career mode. Throughout preseason and everything. So be San Lorenzo. That's not an easy test to do. Three nothing. Three nil. Up oh, three one. They got the goal. They did get the goal at the very end of the game. I just couldn't get the ball away from him. Oh well. We still get the win. Over one of the top five teams, so. 
Let's go. I had transit offers for Ladero and Muso, but I I wanted to decline all these offers right now. I wanted us to get in, get some players in before we start selling the chunks of the players. A loan offer for the striker that just scored in this game. He's 22 years old. A one-year loan. I figure, yeah, we could we could do that. We definitely can do that one year loan for that. And he was loaned out. A loan offer for another young player at 67 overall. Probably won't get a lot of playing time, so we'll we'll go ahead and do that too. Get some of these players out and loan, get them some playing time, get them a little better. Cause they're currently not being trained either, so they're just sitting there. And it looks like we might have gotten a gym here with Alberto Riviero. The value is five hundred seventy-five hundred thousand. So that's that's not bad. Potential is a sixty-nine to seventy-three. He's seventeen years old already. So I'm just, I'm just going to sign him. See what he's see what he's about. Team's a little bit different from I have Orban and Melly in. Because Melly wanted to play and Orban is just sitting on the bench at a 74 overall. He's big and physical, so I figured he could get a game against the team that's ranked in 27. So, I figured why not get him into the game. And then we're underway here. Line up for the home side. The kind of players that we expect the kind of performance. I just want to keep the high press on them most of the game. If they could catch you on a counter-attack, it happens. And Lopez off the post again. Oh. And Orban, his big frame is in there to get that. And Martinez puts it in the back of the net. Ladero Martinez scores his third goal of the season now. One goal a game so far. I like those stats. One goal a game. And I made one side at halftime, brought off Centurion, just give him a little rest. He definitely deserved a rest, so. And, oh, come on, Melly could not just handle the ball right. If I did the damn skill move. Oh, okay. that was not good. Man. Should have tried to hit it out of bounds. They draw level. They draw level. Oh, just oh man. Dang. It's not good. That might be a red card. Yep, that's a red card. And we get a red card at the end of the game. So he will not be able to play the next game. And the ref blows the whistle for full time and we lose to a team that's almost in last place. And that was far from the result that I was looking for. Very far from the ball. Three games, only three points to show for it. Two losses. We beat one of the better teams and we lose to two of the, the non-better teams in the league, so I need to figure something out here. I was getting to the our next home game. We have not won an away game yet. I have noticed that. All of the games, the only game we won has been at home. And with the loss, we come back home, and we have not 
lost at home, I don't think. No, we've only played one game at home. So let's continue the home form release, and we'll we'll have to sort out the the away form here soon. There's only 30 games in the season, so every point kind of matters. First half has begun here. Well, here is the team sheet for the home side. Alan, he's going to defend with six, isn't he? He's going to have those two holding midfield players and let the, the other four go and attack when they can. Yeah, I mean, the two lads in the middle, the two midfielders, are naturally defensive-minded players, Martin, so I don't think they'll naturally get forward too willingly, so, yeah. Martinez hits the post. Cardoza can't get the rebound and put it back in. This could be danger with this passing. Ah. He's got it away. Cardoza. Martinez. Oh, he's. Martinez with the shot over the bar. Oh, that's one over the bar. See at the moment. That could open them up. Martinez gets the goal. Four goals, four games. Lodero Martinez. Definitely the man on fire. We just need the rest of the team to follow his lead. Or we just need to feed him the ball more. He's not as not fast, but he's just so good off with the ball. It's, it's great. A lot of people in the box here. Just have a shot with Cardoza. And Cardoza scores from the top of the box. Let's go. We got the second goal. Hopefully, we do not give up two goals like we did last game in the second half and lose. One sub at halftime. I brought Lopez off. He hadn't had a. I don't think he's had a any time off the pitch this season yet, anyway. So, went ahead and took him off. And get the ball back now. And Soto gets absolutely destroyed. Good cross into the near post. Keeper needs to catch that Just and I punch it away. World right there. Oh my shit. And that's gonna be a no he missed. Martinez with another strike. Martinez puts it in the back of the net for the third goal. Martinez is on fire. Somebody get the water hose. Let's go. We get the win. Another home win. Exactly what we needed. And I put a couple more people on the transfer list. I have... Garrison, he is able to purchase on pre-contract, and Marcus Rojo just because he really don't play in Manchester United, really, and he's from Argentina, but I don't have the money to get him, unless I figure out some way to sell somebody, so. There's, I have a couple more people being scouted right now. Alright, I have a... Victor Corbera from Montreal is being scouted. Emmanuel Manamana from Zent. He's also Argentinian. Gonzalez Perez from Atlanta United. Also Argentinian. Garrison. Fus More, who plays at Everton. Also from Argentina. And Franco Zuacalini. I think I, I completely butchered that, but he's also Argentina and available in pre-contract. And Eric Camella is available in pre-contract at the end of this, in January also. The next game will be against Defensia. And they sit in... They sit in 20th, 20th place. We sit in 11th now. Two wins, two draws. We're scoring. We can score the goals at home. It's just the away games that really kill me. So... Thank y'all for watching this episode. See y'all again next time.